Hello everyone and welcome to another squad builder today. We're going with a uh, 4 3 2 1 formation this time. Um, so let's get into it. We've got Sirigu today. Uh, he's pretty good. 6 foot 4. He's got really good stats actually for an 83. He's got basically all the stats you want above uh, Bivol 83 and he's, he's really good. I mean, 80, 7 reflexes on a 6 foot 4 keep is very, very good. Um, he's, he's a good player. The main reason I've got him in is to link with Thiago Silva. He's probably the best centre back in the game, certainly stats wise. 82 pace is just ridiculous. 88 defending is crazy, and he's got good heading as well. Um, very good passing for a centre back. Um, his dribbling is very good as well, and even his shot is pretty pretty sick. You think he's got 80 shot power and around 80 long shot as well. So if you ever get a chance uh, coming forward, just just have an effort and it might go in. Uh, right centre back, we've got Sergio Ramos again, probably one of the best centre backs in the game. Uh, he's slightly better in the air than Thiago Silva. Um, he's defending slightly worse, pace slightly worse, but again, they're very, very good, both of them. Both looking at around 130k, well, 115 for Ramos, 145 for Thiago Silva. Probably about the right prices for both of them, seeing as they are 87 rated centre backs and the best in the game. Right back, we've got Bakari Sanya. Um, he's not using very many teams because he's not that quick, but he's very strong. Um, he's got good pace, he's just a very solid all-round player, an 83 rated as well, he's uh, actually the best rated right back in the Premier League. A left back we've got in from Felipe Luiz, used his normal card, didn't notice too much of a difference between this and his normal card really, but he has got four more defending on, on this card than his normal. I think paying that 38k, that extra, well basically 38k for him is definitely worth it. Um, he links quite nicely with the squad, he's a pretty solid player. Um, he's, he's good at everything, really. So he, I mean, he's only got 64 heading, but he's six foot, so can't go wrong with that. Um, left centre mid. Um, we've got Ramirez getting that Brazilian link. He's uh, actually incredibly good. Uh, it's not just because of his, his pace. His pace does help, but he just seems to get in all the right areas at the right times. And his shot, despite only being 68 on his card, just seems very, very, very good indeed. I think he probably scored. Uh, the most long shots out of anyone in this team, surprisingly, and uh, it's definitely, definitely worth the coins. If you ever want a good centre mid in the Premier League, he's worth it. There's no doubt about that. Um, middle centre mid, we've got Chabi Alonso. Chabi Alonso is, um, I don't know, I liked him at CDM, but I'm not sure he fits very well into a CM role. Uh, he just seems too slow. His dribbling's very random. Uh, his, his ball control seems a bit, bit you know, poor and... You know, his passing's very good, but, um, you know, he just doesn't seem really that great. Um, I wanted to go with Xavi, but he didn't quite fit in uh, with Ramos. But, um, you know, uh, he's, he's pretty solid, so I guess, you know, he, he could go with him, I suppose. Um, it, actually, actually, a cam. Uh, we've got Cazorla. He still gets nine chemistry at cam. Didn't see the point of paying 10k or whatever they are for the uh, position change. Uh, he's got five star week but four star skills, 145k, probably about the right price for him. He's very good. I mean, look at those stats. Um, I mean, 84 shot with that that week foot is just incredible. He's got 99 free kicks with about 96 curves. So anything, you know, inside 30 yards is probably going to go in. Um, he's got. I, I wouldn't say he's got 80 pace, but. Um, He's he's very good. He's very good. His dribbling's very good. His ball control's very good. He'll pick out the right pass. He's got good crossing. Um, his long shots are incredibly good. Right at right forward, we've got Inform Juan Mata, the most expensive player in the team. He's probably the best right forward on the game. Maybe we could argue that with Robin, but um, you know, in Inform, um, best uh, Premier League right mid. There aren't really any good pra Premier League right mids really. Um, Bought for three hundred ninety-one thousand, which is a hell of a lot for a player, but I think he's worth it. You know, he's he just makes all the right runs at the right times. He's not the quickest, but his shots very, very good. He's certainly not slow. He's good at crossing. His three-star weak foot seems better than that. Um, yeah, I think Matt's a good player. Definitely, uh, definitely worth the coins in my opinion. Left forward, we've got Eden Hazard. Uh, I think he's the best player in this team. Him, him, probably Ramirez. Um, I knew he was good before because I've uh, played against him quite a lot of times. He's he's just got an incredibly good shot. He's very fast and his dribbling is incredibly good. His passing is excellent. Four star weak foot, four star skills. 90k, you got a bargain there because you're looking at Ribery, who's very similar in terms of stats, and you know he's like 500k. So you're getting an absolute bargain with Hazard. He's a very good little player. 
Australia we've got um, Balotelli. You know, Balo gets what Balo wants. Definitely, definitely true. He's absolutely incredible in this game. He's only 22k. Um, he's just he's just ridiculous. His strength is unbelievable. His heading's very very good. Uh, he's tall. He's fast. He's got a great shot. He's, he's very good at his ball control is excellent. Um, he's the, he's probably the best striker in the Premier League. You look at Aguero. He's he's very good. But I think Balotelli's better, and for that price, certainly. Uh, he's worth it. I, I thought about inform Torres, but there's there's no point in spending the coins on Torres when he can get Balotelli. He's he's very overpowered, considering how poor he can be in real life. Um, I think on this game he's certainly uh, they've certainly made the most of him anyway. So uh, yeah, cheers for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy the goals afterwards, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers. You may be younger than me, or humble than me But ain't nobody got more hunger than me When they gonna tell me what I'm gonna be I'll block them out to the sound of the beat And I've been vibing, my mind reside on islands When I be rhyming, riding And now I finally found it, my silence I find it coming out the way I mean it when I write it Every night I'm ripping up the weed and I'ma light it Working in an hour and I don't even get excited Give a head though I wanna get where people like it But I don't, but I got this with a little dough In my pot, kids probably wanna go It's hard as I do, if I knew that I had another option I'm grinding, fighting, 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 yeah, that was a fat joke, bad joke, where's a ranch, bro, I got sauce in my city sauce. And I ain't stopping till my crib got a pool in it yeah. Basketball court with 20 rooms in it yeah. Movie theater remade with big boobs, take my kids to school while I'm making big moves in it yeah. uh, And I'm chasing that dream, eat beats just like cookies and ice cream yeah. Coco Ho on my team like iced tea, yeah. watching games course I just like Spike Lee So you should do the right thing and direct all that hatred to somebody else And if you got beef, I'm about to have a feast and I eat that shit all by myself, bitch You ain't got more hunger than me, don't you ain't got more hunger than me, don't you ain't got more hunger than me, don't you ain't got more hunger than me, maybe younger than me, more humble than me, the problem of me, more cunning than me, but no one thing if you coming to me, what you ain't got more hunger than me, than me.